You need any more I can, room? I can work with it, baby. I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all yours. Go hey, on. thank you, brother. Thank you. Hey, brother, now, I know my brother told me he had a wire somewhere here. Right here. He right here. Is that black thing? Oh, man. Hallelujah. That's good. All right. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hey, man, I tell you what. Anytime uh, you get a group of brothers singing like that, uh, you know, there's, there's something uh, about... Uh, there's a there's a power uh, that exudes um, when brothers lift up their voices and praise to God. Yes. Amen? Amen? Amen. And so I thank you all, man, from the bottom of my heart. I really do. I thank you. I thank you for uh, uh, you know. I'm, I'm I'm looking at you. I'm listening to you sing. Um, uh, we're about to get here in the Word here in a minute, and, and uh, you know, man, y'all got your swords and, and your pens. Uh, somebody's doing an awesome job with you brothers, man. I don't know where that's coming from, Ronnie. I mean, but, you know, hey, man, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I want you to know that I'm thrilled to be here today. Uh, I'm thankful that... Uh, um, we used to live, man, right down off of Double A and Scenic Drive, brother. That's nowhere from here. And, uh, and so, you know, man, when I came back in today, I kind of, I was really kind of excited to be here, you know. Uh, it, 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 it feels a bit like home. Amen. And, uh, and so I just, uh, I, would, I would certainly want to, uh, to first uh, give honor, um, my dear uh, friend Brownie, uh, uh, Pastor Brownie, Pastor Mark uh, Brownie. Uh, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful and thankful to see uh, what God has done through you uh, and accomplished through you. Uh, there's a, there's a, another uh, brother over here, Bobby. Uh, Bobby, man, it's uh, always uh, great to see you. Uh, great to see you. it just man I'm telling you what it's just this group um, the Lord has something special really special really special and so I just thank you I thank you for the privilege uh, of being here and and, uh, and just being a part um, with you all here today you know we were we're looking at this whole idea um, this whole idea as I get this thing draped out, man. Uh, look at this whole idea of, of, you know, refining your vision. Refining, or I guess we'd call it to refine, to refine your vision, you know. And, and, and this, this, this idea behind refining, I, I looked up that word and, and it can take the connotation of, of um, to take something and fine tune it, to hone it in uh, to a level of perfection. Yes. Amen. Um, it can mean to purify. Um, to free, uh, to free from uh, impurities that are inside, to, to remove impurities, to purify in that way. Um, uh, it, it could simply mean to improve something or someone. And so when we talk about here today, when we talk about this, this, this refining process, I want you to know that, that, that different men in this room are in different places. And that's okay. That, 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 that's a praise, okay? And so what we want to do is, is in, a, in, a, in a corporate way, in a, in a, in a, in a body-fied way, be able to reach 
and touch you right where you are. Okay? And internalize that and, and, and begin to work on some of those areas, man. We're going we're gonna to tap some, 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 some really good spots. Uh, I'd, I'd like for us to, tonight to look at this idea, and I, I guess we want to see um, and approach this thing from how God sees us tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to come back and we're going to flip that thing around and, and we're going to look and see how is it that you and I see God. Okay? Two sides of the same coin. But, but one lean and, 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 and running into independence of the other. Uh, I looked at the word vision, okay, and it's, the word vision can take on a different, a lot of different things. It's, it's the state of being able to see, to being able to see, but it also can include the ability to, to close your eyes. Hear me say this, to close your eyes and, and see beyond the potential mess that, 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 that some of us could be in right now, okay? Right. To be able to see beyond that, okay, and, 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 and see out just short of that and just beyond that, that there's still a better way, okay? Vision, vision, okay? Closing your eyes and being able to be able to see beyond where you are to where God is capable and able through the power of his Holy Spirit to take you. I, um, hmm. we were, we were, we were uh, coming down the highway here the, the other day, man, and, and uh, I was talking to my daughter, my oldest daughter, about a little something here or there, and and uh, and you know we were we were just we were reminiscing back and, and talking about hey here here's here's where we've been, here's where we came from, and 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 here's where we were yet to go, and we began just to kind of reminisce on that, and and you know I I just wonder even here today as you sit here. Each of us have a past. And you and I know where we are in this present moment. And each of us has a potential future. We're going to kind of work through those things and, 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 and see if God can, can speak to us in a special way uh, and tie a few of those things together. But I tell you what, I'd like for you, if you would, if you just take a few, mo just a moment, and turn with me just briefly, uh, just over to a, to a, to a text, uh, over in Acts, Acts 7. Acts 7, that's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts. Acts chapter 7, starting with verse 55. We're going to just read just a couple of verses here. Um, 55 and 56. When you've got that, say, I've got it. Got it. Amen. I guess it would probably do good if I got it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Praise God, brother. Amen. <laughs> Amen. There you go. All right. All right. Then let's, um, let's read that. Verses 55 and 56. This is the word of the Lord. All right. But he, being full of of the Holy Ghost. Are you with me? Right. Looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and, and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. 56, and said, Behold, I see the heavens opened. Mm. I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Refine, refine your vision. Refine your vision. You know, 
I'm going to just ask you just to pray with me just for a moment. Father, we pray right now. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy towards us. We thank you, Father, for this room full of men. And there's just something powerful, Father, when a, when a group of men get together, one mind, in one accord, seeking to lift you up and bring you glory. And so we pray tonight, we pray tonight that your Holy Spirit would be our teacher. Amen. Help us, Father, would you open our spiritual ears in order that we might be able to hear with understanding that will result in, in working this thing out in our feet. And we'll be sure to give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Who is this man, Stephen? Hmm that we're dealing with here in, 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 in Acts 7, you know, who is he? You see, we really don't have a lot of background information um, on this, this guy. We, 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 we don't know who his parents are. We don't know if he had a wife or, 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 or children. We don't know any of these things, but, but in Acts 6, I want you to see that, that in Acts 6, the body of Christ the church was growing exponentially, it really was, you see, uh, during, during one sermon, one sermon that Peter preached, huh, the day of Pentecost, Amen. all right, all right, Scripture says that approximately 3,000 individuals gave their hearts and lives to the Lord. That's found over in Acts chapter 2, 38 through 41, if you, if you want to check that out. I'm talking about rapid growth, rapid growth. But now that rapid growth brought about, brought about some pain. It brought about growth pains that forced them to, to change their approach in, in some ways. You see, there was some murmuring going on in the church. It was, okay, all right? So murmuring was taking place. You know, the, the, the Hellenist widows, Jews, all right, were being neglected, Scripture says, okay, in, 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 as it related to the daily distribution of food, okay? They weren't getting it, and the Hebrew wives were, and, 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 and so there began this little murmuring process, and so it was agreed upon. I'm just giving you a little background here, okay? Amen? It was agreed upon that, that the people would appoint seven deacons to oversee the food distribution so that the apostles could continue teaching and preaching the Word. All right? We look at verse Five and 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 we get introduced. I guess that's 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 seven five. Let me just check that out. I'm sorry. I've just kind of just put you on a on a thread there. Okay, um, six five is what I'm is what I'm wanting to say. Okay, six five. We're introduced to Stephen. It says that he's a man of faith, and he's full of faith. And the Holy Spirit, verse 7 goes on to say that, 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 that the number of believers at this particular time was, was moving so fast and increasing greatly in Jerusalem, even including many Jewish priests. We've got this guy, Stephen, a guy who's full of faith, full of power. And Scripture says that he began performing all kinds of miracles and, 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 and amazing things among the people. That's Acts 6, 8, okay? That's what Scripture is saying. We see that certain Jews uh, from the synagogue of free slaves tried to come and debate Stevie, all right? Hmm. 
but they were no match. They were no match for him. He understood, he understood Jewish history so, so well. He really did, all right? And so, consequently, they said, well, listen, we can't, we can't get him that way, so then we've got to go here and we've got to make some false accusations. We'll stick him that way. And they have, they have, they, they had Stephen arrested, arrested, locked up, and they begin to rouse the people up. Acts chapter 7, then is a record of Stephen's testimony, okay? And Stephen came in, man, he came in, and, and I mean, boy, he wasn't cutting these people any slack. He really wasn't, you know. He was ripping them and, and, and tearing them, and, 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 and he's brought this indictment against these high-positioned Jewish people, all right? All right? Jewish leaders. And, and, and he repeatedly reminded them of their rebellious antics over and over and over again and, 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 and that led up to the murdering of the Son of God. You see, they, now, 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 now when we start talking about Jewish history, all of a sudden they have a lack of appreciation of what's being talked about. You know, they want to cut this brother off, all right? All right? Uh, and so, just before, just before these arrogant Jews began to stone Stephen outside the city walls of Jerusalem, you have Acts 7, 55 and 56, and we just, we just read that. And, and, and so, it just says that, that in the midst of this process, in the midst of all that's going on, in the midst of their intent to kill this man, it says that he steadfastly gazed into heaven, gazed into heaven and, and, and saw the glory of God, and, and, and it says saw Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Wow. Now, now let's, let's not mistaken what, what's being said. It, 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 you, you could look at that and you'd say, well, that, that means that God is here and here's Jesus Christ standing on his hand. Uh, please understand, when we talk about Jesus standing at his right hand, we're saying that Jesus is standing in a position of authority and power. That's exactly what's taking place. And this is the scene that, 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 that Stephen is seeing. And, and, and so he says, I, I see heavens open and, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand. His audience couldn't take it anymore. And they're just gritting at the teeth and man, they want to get a piece of this guy. And so, right before, right before, we, we, we catch the, his final moments before a very brutal, brutal death, a very brutal death. And, and, and you know, and so, I, as, as, as Stephen got a glimpse of Jesus. I, I want to ask you today, I want to ask you today, um, what is it? How is your relationship with the Father? What's it like? What's it like? You know, you know, um, uh, do you feel, you know, do you, do you have a deep connection? And I'm, I'm going to say this tonight. I, I don't mind, man, if you talk to me a little bit, okay? Or give me a little bit of feedback. You see, because now here's where we are. Are you confident about how he might respond in terms of the rapport that you have with him and he has with you. 
Think on that. Just think on that just, just for a little bit. You see, um, where there, if, if you sit and you say, I'm not sure what he might say. That, that's a fair answer. Okay? But life can seem pretty insecure, shaky, touchy, if in fact that's my answer. But that's why we're here. That's why we're here. You see, what we want to, what we want to see tonight, we want to see how does God see me? And so I'm not going to keep you very long. I'm I going to keep you very long. But, but just, just, you know, I, 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 as, as, as we ask that real question, as we ask that question, um, here's an example. There was a guy over in, over in Judges chapter 6. His name was Gideon. Scripture says, Scripture says in, in, in chapter 6 of that book that, that the angel of the Lord comes and he comes to meet him and he says, Hello, mighty man of valor. <laughs> Here's Gideon's response. His response is that, that, that he comes from the weakest clan of his tribe, okay? And he's the least member of the tribe. Now, the Son of God came and said, hello, mighty man of valor. That's the way God saw him. His response is, oh, you know, I come from a really weak portion and a weak part. That's his response in terms of how he sees himself. Here's what I'm wanting us to do. Tonight, if we can just kind of just get ourselves in a, in a, in a little cocoon and, and, and ask the Lord, Lord, I want to know how you see me. I want to know if I'm really worthy of your time. You know, we go into all of those thoughts and all of those, those questions and, and, you know, we're asking things left and right. But, but watch this. You know what? Rather than God calling us, you know, hopeless, unlovable, all of these different types of things, you see, God has a different thing and, and a different assessment of us than we do. And it's important for us to know that. Um, one passage is found over in John. I want you to turn, if you would, just for a second here. Go with me to St. John. John, John chapter 1. John chapter 1. Verse 12, when you've got that, say, I've got that. Amen. 112. All right, that's all right, baby. Keep coming. Keep coming with it. Keep coming. All right. All right. All right. Here's what he says. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. He says that we're children, okay? He gave us the right to become children of God, sons 
of God. Here's another little passage I want you just to look at. Just look at for just a second here. We're going to go to the other end of your, 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 your New Testament. Let's go to 1 Peter. 1 Peter. 1 Peter, that's back there, man, by revelation, all right? Uh, um, after James, okay? James is after Hebrews, all right? 1 Peter 2, verse 9. 2-9, when you've got that, say, I've got it. 2-9, hmm? and here's what it says. He says, but ye, you are a chosen generation. You're a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Watch this. A peculiar, special people. Yeah. Okay? He's, he's saying that about us, that, that, that you, you, that's who he sees us to be. And many days we wake up, we walk out of our house, and we have this low opinion of who we are. And God is saying, listen, I don't see you like you see you. I see you high. I see you being a peculiar, a, a, a chosen people of mine. Amen. He's saying, powerful things. He's speaking encouraging words. Amen. We need to see how God sees us. Amen. Because the, here's, here's, the, here's the thing, here's the thing. If, if we don't if we don't, man, and we're going we're gonna to be talking about we're going to be talking about Sunday God calls on us. Amen. Some of you here have given your life to Christ. You're, you're convinced of that. But, but just as, as, as in, the, in the process of a baby growing through growing stages uh, to manhood, it requires growth. Some of us have taken big steps. Some of us have taken smaller steps. But wherever you are now, it's okay. Because he knows exactly where you are. And you know, the beautiful thing about our father is this, that he doesn't expect any more of us than what we're, we're able to give at any particular time. He's, he's, he's not saying, hey, I, I need you to jump this high when he knows we can't do that. But the great thing about him, man, is that he will take you just as you are. Amen. But, but he's going to love you too much to leave you there, amen? Right. All right, all right. But he's going to take you right where you are, and, and he's just going to say, if, 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 you'll just, if you'll just step, if you'll just walk here tomorrow and, 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 and here tomorrow and here the next day. Now, what does that look like? We do real good when we're with other brothers. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you all tonight, man, and I mean, you brothers are just, just chirping, I mean, just going in, you know, and, and, and I mean, the roof is raising and thumping a little bit, and you got a brother back here on this base, and, and I mean, you know, I'm just listening to all that, man. It, it's beautiful. But here's the question. We put the instruments up. You, you fold your voice up and put it back in your back pocket. I get that, okay? And then we go home. Mm -hmm. 
And we don't pull those things back out until we come right back to the group again. But he has a work that he wants to do with you and with me at home on a daily basis. But in order to do that, in order to do that, we've got to have a regiment of being in his word on a daily basis. All right? And you know, man, that, that sounds like, you know, boy, have it. we're not saying you've got to read 16 chapters a day. We're not saying that. But God says, if, if, if I'm going to talk to you, and I'm going to be able to speak to you, and you're going to be able to hear my voice, then you and I have got to do some of the disciplines. You know, man, it, 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 it's coming springtime, man. I know y'all just had a few feet of, in, inches of snow. To, to me, I'm down in Houston, man. That looks like feet, okay? All right? All right? But, but listen, man, it, it's coming springtime. Listen, and, 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 and so springtime, you get in that mood, man. You feel like, okay, man, hey, I can kind of kick this out a little bit and, 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 and think, about, think about running. That doesn't mean you got to run, but you're thinking about it. That's a good start, okay? <laughs> but, but, but it's the time, it's the time where we start saying, hey, man, listen, I've got I've to pick up some of the things that I know and begin to, imp- to, to apply those things in my life spiritually it's spring training man we're we're sitting here tonight and we're we're talking about doing some things we're talking about moving from one place to another watch this i'm gonna talk to you uh sunday about making proper life adjustments God desires, he, he, he says, listen, I've got a plan for you, yes. that vision. I've got a plan for you. But, but, but in order for you to, 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 to implement my plan and to agree to that plan, you've got to be willing to make some adjustments. Some of them are, okay, but you know, hey, yeah, that's easy for me to do. Uh, Some of them might be a little bit tougher, but but through a course of time, to those who are willing to adjust, he says, oh, I'm going to bless you real good. Because when we obey the Lord, blessing follows unquestionably. But, but the adjustment, now here's what I'm saying to you tonight. You and I must get alone with the Lord and say, Father, I, in some cases, God has been touching certain brothers in this room and, and, and he's putting a finger on a particular spot. And he comes and he go, we'll, he'll ease away and then he'll come back and he'll come right back to that spot. And some of you know what I'm talking about. But what he's trying to do is, he's not trying to pressure tactic you or me into a situation. He's saying, listen, I love you. You're my child. I paid a price for you. And I'm just asking you, I'm just asking you, will you now trust me enough to do this? to do that, to, to make this adjustment, that adjustment. That, that might mean, okay, I, I, I want you to wake up tomorrow morning and I want you to, to, to have a quiet time, a, a 10 or 15 minute period.
period of time where you get in his word for a short period of time and, and then you talk to him about issues that, 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 that he wants you to talk. I mean, all I'm saying is, brothers, listen, there are some disciplines. You and I are at whatever phase we are. There we go. It's all good. But we're, we're at a particular place, and that's okay. But this is not the time to rest. Okay? This is not the time to rest. In order for you, in order for you to be all that you can be up here, it requires some of those, some of those intimate times that you have alone with the Father, where you're trying to, you're seeking to follow Him. You're seeking to listen intently to His voice. And then you say, hey, Father, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do what you say. Now, that might mean you might have to team up with another brother and say, hey, man, listen, hey, let's hold one another accountable on this thing. Amen. That's okay, too. But what you and I, what, what, what you want to see in you and what I want to see in me is the fact that I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking step by step by step with the Savior. Amen. I'm seeing progress. I'm saying, Father, listen, I'm willing to make the adjustment. Yes. Amen. Now, I can't tell you what that adjustment is. But the Spirit of God can speak clearly in your heart. Some of you brothers here are married. I, 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 don't, I don't know the room, but, but, but you do. Some are married. Anybody in here not married? Praise hallelujah. Amen, amen. Listen to me. Listen, okay? A different adjustment, okay? All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, listen, he knows exactly where you are, all right? Uh, Brownie has, has, has been teaching, and, and, and there are teachers in here who have been teaching you how to, hey, man, here's how we implement this. Here's how we implement that. I'm not going to take but a few more moments of your time, but all I'm saying is this. I just wonder if we could just for just, Pastor, I wonder if we could just, would, could you all just give me seven to ten minutes now. And, and, and what I'm wanting, what I'm wanting us to do, man, I'm just, I'm just wondering if we could come together, I, I don't know, in, in, in groups of four, in, in, in groups of something like that, and just talk to one another. Perhaps God is placing something on your heart. I'd like tonight before we leave this place to say, yeah, you know, man, hey, listen, I'm, uh, uh, this is happening and that is happening and I, I can see God seeking to move me to a different place. When we get into the habit of doing what he says in the small things, it makes a huge difference as we go down the line. So I'd like for you just tonight, if, 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 if you would be willing to do that. I know some of you, man, you know, it's, man, I just don't really, I, you know, I just can't, I get that, okay? But if you do this, it'll help you. It'll bless you. Sometimes we just need the encouragement of just another brother to come alongside and say, hey, man, yeah, hey, listen, I, 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 I've been there. I understand what that's about, okay? 
as you all are coming here like this, it's a beautiful thing. It's a great thing. But we can use this to keep moving up that mountain. Amen. All right? And so I'm going to just ask, Brother Brownie, could we, could we do that? Could we just come together just for a little bit? Man, if we could, if we could uh, drop in, in groups of four, can you just, uh, uh, I, I, I won't, I won't ses session you off. I could go one, two, three, four. And we, won't, we won't do that, all right? All right? But let's just, <laughs> let's just do that for a short number of minutes. And then we'll say time when, when, when time is up. We'll come back together and we'll close in a word of prayer and we'll be done tonight. Now, tomorrow, we're going to come back and we're going to look and see how we see God. You might give some thought about that just tonight, all right? But let's do that. Let's, 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 let's zoom in, man. Give me 10, okay? All right? That don't mean 10 push-ups. I'm talking about 10 minutes. Okay, all right? <laughs> Let's talk, and then we'll come back together. All right? Y'all help me do that, if you would, please. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
I, I thank you all. Uh, I, I, was, I was just wondering, man, were y'all going to get in a group and sit like a rock? I'm just, I'm thrilled. But man, hey, man, listen, y you the singing brothers, so I know y'all, y'all, y'all going to come on with it. That's strong. Uh, but, but I wonder, you've, 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 you've talked to one another for a bit. I just wonder if, if, if one of you, perhaps, uh, or two of you, uh, in your group, just, just lift up some of the things perhaps that you've said or one of the things that you've heard in your group. Um, pray for a brother or two. If you'll do that again very briefly, um, let's try two minutes, two and a half minutes. We'll ease on back to this man and we'll let you brothers go home. Amen? All right? But would you do that? Listen, I thank you. I, you know, men, watch this real quick. You can get a group of women together. No. Uh, bad news. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Hey, Amen. Listen, they will know if you have children, they, they will know. I mean, men, they let it go. What do we brothers do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, hey, did you watch the ball game the other day? You know, you know we just, we, it's, a whole new, it's a whole new thing. Uh, but you know what? When we let the guard down, we find that we're really not that different. And, and, and this thing that we want, you know, we, if we, everybody wants, hey, see me. You know, I mean, everybody wants a little bit of that, and I understand that. But hey, man, listen, we're on a journey together, and we need one another. Amen. Just like you all are harmonizing in here tonight, man, if you could hear yourself, there's beautiful harmony. And when we come together, man, to, to do something mighty for God, there's beautiful harmony because we're working with the other. And so if you would, if you would just wrap that up, man, and, and pray, uh, we'll come back for another step, okay? All right? Would y'all do that for me right now? Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Amen.
Brothers, 30 seconds now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord God, Father in heaven, we thank you tonight for what you're doing. We thank you, Father, for these brothers. Thank you for the love that they have for you. Thank you, Father, for uh, allowing them to move by faith and to step into one of these groups and just express things that are on their heart. Father, we're thankful that of the millions and billions of people, you know us yes. so well. <coughs> you know us as though we were the only person in the room. We thank you for being omniscient. We thank you, Father, for knowing us. You knew us before we were in our mother's womb. And you know the plan, Father, that you have for us right here tonight. And so I thank you. I thank you for this body of men I thank you, Father, what you're going to do as a result of their desire to be obedient to you tonight. And so I pray, Father, I pray, I know we have different schedules, but I pray, Lord, that, that if you would place it on the hearts of these men, Father, that we would be able to meet again tomorrow and move the ball just one more yard. Help us to do that. Help us to see the significance uh, of making small adjustments that will make huge adjustments in, the, in this body of men. This we pray tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor, Pastor, would you please uh, come and... and, and, and uh, Do what only you can do for us, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. There's nothing to add <laughs> mm. other than Ben, go home.